okay so <clears throat> this is your uh, topology for today's session uh, we have a firewall here okay and we have one two three four zones we are using around two three four five six interfaces of your firewall okay so your interface one and two are on this segment one two three is here four five and six okay so if i'm not wrong sorry uh, no the, so this is a blank configuration but this is what you, we are going to set it up okay so in this case this portion here this is a router which is running right here okay this is again a router which is running um, no so okay this portion this is a server which is running in the VM here okay this machine here and this is a PC which is again running in VM here then what do we have okay this router and these these two routers are again running here this is ISP router and which is outside and further you have this router here for partners which is right here okay so all these devices are blank there's no configuration in them uh, very first what you need to do is let's set it up for layer 2 environment so over here we keep these are two different VLANs so probably this is I'll keep this as VLAN 11 and I'll keep this portion as VLAN 12 okay this I'm not doing in production networks this will be again on connected on the switches okay and this will again belong to another VLAN okay I'm, I'm here I've directly connected them okay uh, next what do you need to do next you need to go to the switch here this portion okay so this is already open over here so you need to go to your switch and you need to say create the VLANs uh, VLAN 11 and VLAN 12 okay done good <laughs> then you have to put port number 11 in VLAN 11 and port number 12 in VLAN 12 so go back to the switch interface f1 slash 11 switch port okay Just give me a minute. Okay. Interface F one slash eleven. Interface twelve. okay done now what you'll do in general scenarios is you will use one of the interfaces here right okay so there's a concept called as redundant interface 
one of the feature we saw yeah yesterday so this feature redundant interface helps you team the interfaces okay so you're going to pair these two interfaces one and two of firewall okay so you're going to what you're going to do is basically you're going to use g00 and g01 you're going to group them logically and logically they're going to appear as one interface and that interface is called redundant interface okay so let's do these basic settings config t host name asa1 uh, clock I, I'm, I'm not going to set it up uh, enable let me remove the enable password what else was there i don't think so anything else okay so interface g00 okay uh, in order to group them you just have to say no shut here another interface in interface g01 again you have to say no shut here now what you got to do is you need to type interface and you need to use this keyword okay so say redundant and do a question mark you you can create up to eight redundant interfaces so let's say this is interface redundant one now what you need to understand is uh, redundant interface is a group so you are going to you can put maximum of two interfaces two physical interfaces in this group redundant one is a logical interface okay how do you put the interfaces in this if you do a question mark there's a keyword called member interfaces mm -hmm. so you have to use this keyword to assign the physical interface as a member of this logical interface so you want to make physical interface G00 and G01 as a member of this logical interface which is redundant one. So you, you have to use this keyword. Now next thing what you need to take care is whichever member interface you declare first becomes active. So if I define 00 this becomes the active and 01 becomes standby another interface is created redundant one redundant one you please take care it's a logical interface which is a group of two physical interface so you need to make sure that the physical interfaces are connected up and they are no shut whatever we did yesterday inside the physical interface now you have to do the same configuration under the redundant interface so you go back to your redundant one and do the same thing here name if do you get this all this you people you have to do it under redundant interface not under physical interfaces okay so <coughs> what do we do here mm, i need to put some subnet over here this is 10 1 this will go to layer 3 switch 190 to 168 1 this will also go to layer 3 switch and then layer 3 switch you will have an interface which will connect here so port number f11 and f12 okay so first let's set, set this portion so again going back to your switch how, how come is there's a native is just give me a minute let me okay so what interfaces are there f11 and f12 right mm -hmm. so go to interface f11 f12 or description to asa and uh, switch port mode access switch port access vlan now what you can also do is Okay, let me show you this one, then I'll show you the uh, another one. Switch forward access VLAN and let's put this in VLAN 100. 
Okay, and finally spanning tree. VLAN hundred. Okay. So these two are to AS interface in VLAN 100 and so on. Okay, now in this case for routing purpose, what you might do is interface VLAN 11. So what you might set up as interface VLAN 11 here with IP address as 10.1.1.254. Then set up interface VLAN 12 here with IP address as 192.168.1.254. These are going to act as gateway and IP routing. Similarly, for firewall subnet, which is right here, uh, what you might give is interface VLAN 100. IP address uh, 10 100 100 254 okay and firewall I'll keep as 10 100 101 okay so now let's go to the firewall here and set up firewall inside interface IP address 10 100 101 show running interface redundant one do you get this so if you if you guys I, i've just filtered this but if you guys see here you see that interface g00 is right now active reason that's the one what was declared first forcefully you can change yeah forcefully you can change you have to use this command redundant interface redundant one make active member as g01 okay so this forces g01 to go active uh, what we need to do next is a bit of test here so for testing purpose what you can do is if you go to your, go back to your switch and if you do a ping to 10 100 it should work provided there is no problem with the interfaces now this portion is the VM portion so Okay. Before that, let me just do a small testing. So we'll come to know if it is the VM adapter. Show IP. Uh, show running interface VLAN 11 is here. 12 and 100. Okay, 11, 12, 100. 10, 1, 1, 2, 54. So let's. This is a client PC. I'm not sure if it is in the same subnet. We just. wait wait a minute let's do it here okay so interface written in one member interface so we are revising the interface configuration we have removed the previous one okay so show we have removed the redundant interface members now we are going to create interface written in one with first member as g00 and the second member as g01 that's it now what we are going to do is interface written in 1.11 assign the VLAN tag what it should accept and now give the address ok give name if ok In internally not inside so in Increase the security level. Similarly, go and do it for 
1.12 it should accept only vlan 12 traffic and ip address here is 192.168.1.254 name if okay show running one eleven twelve yeah so it's show fine up till this point okay so we expect this to work Actually, VM adapters problem, but should be working on this one as well. Provided there's nothing wrong, ten one one two fifty four, and Who's ten one one? Okay. Show interface redundant one. Show interface redundant one. Include active member. So this is the command to switch the members. You have to say redundant one, which redundant interface you might have up till eight. Okay, and in that case, what should be your active member? So, so your sub interface is working as it's a LC. Yes, definitely. So they know separate LC configuration. Where? LC VLANs. Like how we do in switch LC VLANs configuration? Not required. Only sub interface. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Getting router on stick. Ten one 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 hundred. Probably this is an adapter issue. Hopefully this should fix the problem otherwise we have to connect and disconnect this. Okay, so let's go back to come back here. And so, okay, here one thing what you need to do is you need to say security level 100 and similarly security level 100 over here. Okay, and that's good. A small change, let's try to edit here. That's interface number 1 and VLAN 11. Okay, so I just delete this. Expect to be VM net one.
Okay, let's set up these portions here. Hmm, again, our oh, challenge. DMZ server. Okay, zero 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 one zero two. Okay, so get back to. Uh, let's first set this router here, and this should be. Let's keep this as again hundred. So this one here is dot hundred, and I'll keep this one as well. Dot hundred here. So let's first set up this portion here, and this router is right here so config t ip address is 192 168 10.100 and you can expect a default route from here towards the firewall which will be 192 168 10.254 okay similarly let's set the set this router up which is right here so the subnet here is 172 16 so interface f00 here is 172 16 10 100 and this goes to our default route to was 172 16 10.4 good now what we need to do is go back to the firewall console show interface IP brief so two of the interfaces are taken care let's do interface G02 description uh, name if This is zone SDMZ servers and this one is for partners DMZ servers and for partners so name if DMZ server security level I'll increase and put it to 50 and IP address subnet is 192.168.10.254 no shut next interface G03 uh, give a name security level and IP address what is what is it dot 10 if I'm not wrong yep dot 10 dot 10 254 no okay this is 2 and this is 3 okay having done this portion if you say 172.168.10.100 this is DMZ server on this subnet and if you do a ping to 172.16.10.100 this is another server uh, which is in partner zone or means another router there um, okay next is the outside segment which is again show interface IP brief which is again these two interfaces should be four and five if I'm not wrong we have put zero one zero and one inside two in DMZ three in partner four and five outside if I'm not wrong four and five are outside okay so four and five again we do the same thing so go back to four and five so interface um, g04 no shirt 
interface G05 uh, uh, no shirt then create interface written then two. two good what do you say memory interface four and five and we are going to do everything under this so name if what okay IP address let's say one here <coughs> good and what what we need to do further is go and set up this outside router ISP here config interface IP address dot two fifty four no shirt and create some loopbacks here for testing purpose. Let's say another loopback. Let's say <coughs> okay. Having done this, I should be able to ping perfect. So, one 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 here is your firewall. Good. Okay. Next portion, what you did not do. Okay, so this is the basic setup, and we'll be working on this particular setup okay so next what we will see is uh, dynamic routing and static routing and once we are done with that we'll see uh, translations okay